request today in this video i will show you how you can implement range slider in your angular project so for that we have to install a package and so i will open a new tab and here i will write the package name is ng5 slider so you can see here ng5 slider npm so this is the link and i will add the link on description also so i will open the link and you can see here this is the package manager page so i will scroll the page and here you can see in the right side here is the installation command so i will copy this command and i will go to the visual studio code and you can see here in this terminal our project is running on local server 4200 so to install this package i will open an another terminal so here is the terminal and new terminal so now here i will paste the installation command and i will press enter so the installation is completed and now i will go to the browser and here we can see here is the four dependencies so i will go to the dependencies and you can see the four dependencies so i have to also install this four dependencies so first of all i will install the first one and here is the installation command so i will copy this and i'll paste it and press enter to install so here is the installation completed and now again i will go to the browser and i will back go back and i will go to the dependencies again and now here is the second dependency rxjs so here is the installation command of rxjs and i will paste this command and press enter to install and i will add the all this all all the command in description also so it's also installed now and next i will install a third dependency so i will go to the back and again i will go to the dependencies and the third dependencies is rxjs compact so i will go to this and here is the installation command and i'll paste it so it's also installed and now i will install the last one dependency so i'll go to the browser and here i'll back this page and again i'll go to the dependencies and the last dependency is tslib so i'll click the tslib and here i will copy this installation command and now i'll paste So now the all the dependencies are now com installed completed and again I will back this page and I will scroll it and here the documentation. So first of all you can see in the app module.ts file I have to import this line so i will copy this and here i will open a app module.ts file so, so here is the app module.ts file and here i will paste this import line and in the import array you can see here i have to paste this line so I will scroll the app module.ts page and here you can see the input array and now here I will paste this and now I will copy this app module.ts file and 
again you can see app component.ts file app component.ts means in which component i want to run the slider so there i have to paste this import line so now here i want to run in home component.html file so in the home component.ts file i will paste this import line and Build into the export class I have to add this code so here is the export class so I will add this code below the ng on in it and the next in the HTML file you can see here I have to add this line so I will copy this and in the HTML page, I will add this line. So I will press Ctrl S to save. And now I will go to the browser. So you can see the range slider is now added. And I will scroll the page and I will go to the website of range slider you can see and here is the different type of slider so now I have added this first one so now if I add, want to add this multi range slider so here I will go and here i will get all the information so in the app component.ts file first of all i have to add this code also so i'll copy this and the home component.ts file i will remove this line and i'll paste which i copied from there and press ctrl s to save and from here I will go to the HTML file and I will copy this line and the HTML file I will remove this and I will paste it and control is to save and now I will go to the browser and you can see it's added multi range slider so here you can see if you want to add this slider so again you want i will go on stack beach here So again you can see I have to add this import line first of all but I already imported it so I will not import again and in the export into the export class I have to add this line so I will copy this and I will remove this and I will paste it and again I will go to the browser and from here I will go to the HTML page and I will copy this and in the HTML page I will remove this and here I will paste it and control is to save and I will go to the browser so now you can see it's added this slider so in this way you can add different types of slider so here is the different types of slider range different type of range slider so you can add this so hope guys this video is helpful for you so if you like this video then please subscribe our channel and press the notification bell icon to get more videos of angular